to the curve this one has gradient of negative 4 and 7 at this one and this one respectively determine the value of a and b so here we know that radians mean dy over dx so here we know that when x is equal to 1 over 2 the gradient is negative 14 when x is equal to 2 gradient is 7 so here we can find the value of a and b so y is equal to a x square plus b x so to do differentiation to get dy over dx why because we wanted to compare so here the power needs to be up so which is a x square plus b x negative 1 so when we differentiate dy over dx is equal to so here we bring the power forward a is constant 2 times a is 2a so x 2 minus 1 is 1 origin you don't need to write 1 so here you bring the power forward negative 1 times positive 1 because positive 1 so here you get negative p x and then you minus the power with 1 so here you get 2ax minus b x negative 2 or here you can also write a x square right so negative we just write positive first negative time b is negative b x negative 2 and then later on you will still get negative p x negative 2 either one you prefer prefer or i think this one is just directly multiplied okay here which is 2 a x minus b over x square So we see here, so when x is equal to 1 over 2, dy over dx is equal to negative 14. You see here, this one and this one is one couple here. And then we have when x is equal to 2, y is equal to 7. So here when you substitute, so here the first one. So from this one, when dy over dx is equal to negative 14, is equal to 2a x is half minus b we don't know the b x square x is half square right so here we get negative 14 is equal to so we cut this one we get a minus so b over 1 over 4 so a minus so divided by 1 over 4 is actually multiplying 4 over 1 so a minus 4b is equal to negative 14. So this is 1. Okay, just write right. So just write here negative 14 is equal to a minus 4b. Okay. Now I'm going to use the second one. So so this one is dy over dx. Okay, dy over dx. So here dy over dx is 7. So x is equal to 2. So we substitute x with 2. 2a. This one is 2. This one is minus. We don't know the b. So x is 2. So 2 square. So here 2 times 2 is 4a minus b over 4. So here. So we have 7 here. So we can remove the denominator. So that it will be easier for us to calculate. So here 4 times 7. 7 times 4 because this one multiply by 4, multiply by 4, multiply by 4. 28 is equal to, this one is 16a minus b. This one and this one can be cut off. So here you have 28 is equal to 16a minus 6. So simultaneous equation. So you have here, so you can substitute. So if I want to substitute a here. So we see here negative 14 is equal to a minus 4b. a is equal to negative 14 plus 4b. This one I bring to the left. So now I get the value of a. Now I can substitute a inside 2. So here 3 into 2. So 28 is equal to 16. a is negative 14 plus 4b minus b. So, 28 is equal to negative 2 to 4. 16 times 4 is 64b minus b. So, here 28 is equal to negative 2 to 4 plus 63b. So, 63b is equal to, so we bring here 
28 plus 2 to 4 So here we get 252 So B is equal to 252 divided by 63 So here we get 4 So B is equal to 4 When B is equal to 4 Then we take the 3 from 3 a is equal to negative 14 plus 4. B is 4. So negative 14 plus 16. So here we get 2. So here A is equal to 2. B is equal to 4. B find the coordinate. So we know coordinate means x and y. Where the gradient of the tangent is 0. So gradient of tangent, so we know this one is dy over dx is equal to 0. So we have calculated dy over dx before, right? So dy over dx. And we just know the value of a and b. So 2a is 2. x minus b is 4 over x square. Okay, so here we have 4x minus 4 over x square. So when this one is 0, so now here, we can remove the denominator by multiplying everything with x square times x square times x square. So here 0 times x square is 0. So this one times x square, you get 4x cubed. x square and x square minus 4. 0 is equal to 4x cubed minus 1. So this one, x cubed minus 1 is equal to 0, x cubed is equal to 1, so x is equal to 1. Because like, okay, never mind, just cube root of 1, you get 1. So here you know that when the tangent is 0, x is equal to 1. So coordinate is x, y, so you can substitute the value of x to get y. So y is equal to, just now a is 2 x square plus b is 4 over x, right? So when x is equal to 1, y is equal to 2, 1 square plus 4 over 1. So here you get 2 plus 4, so here you get 6. So here, the coordinates of the point when the tangent is 0 is 1, 6.